Okay, so I'm going to show you how to record, I mean not record, but how to type in some math expressions into Google Docs. Um, a lot of you are having trouble and you are just uh, typing in the numbers, but when I read it, it doesn't look like how it should look like mathematically. So I'm going to go through the process of how to use Google Docs to write math expressions. So uh, once you start your homework or classwork for anything, and you want to do math expressions, what you are going to do is you're going to go up here to where it says insert. And then you're going to go ahead and click here where it says equation. Now, once you do that, you see right here where I'm, my cursor is, a new section pops up that has equations there. And you could see here in this little box, now if you're in that box, you're typing in math print. So for example, if I want to do two to the third power, what I could do is I just press two, then I press shift six to do the caret button, and you see how it automatically goes up into the power. And then now I do three, okay? And that's how you get your exponent. And then so if you want to go back to regular typing, you could just exit out of there and now you're out of there. Now, I saw some of you also do that on the last assignment. However, like let's say the answer was x to the fifth, y to the eighth. So if you want to write that, you instead of going to insert an equation now, you could just go ahead and click on this where it says new equation. Let's say I want to write x to the fifth, y to the eighth. So I'm going to do x, I'm going to press shift six, and now I'm going to go press five. Now, if I want to do y to the eighth, what's going to happen is if you press y right now, it still thinks you're in the exponent. So what you need to do is after you press to the five, just press the right cursor once, and then now you're back down and now you could press Y. Then you press shift six again. And if you press eight, you'll get X to the fifth, Y to the eighth. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over two problems on the classwork and I'm going to show you how to do it in math print. If you are doing Google docs. So let me erase that. Let's look at number one. I have X to the four fifths and I want to change it into radical form. Well, if you watch the video, please watch the video. Some of you are trying to do the assignments without watching the video. You need to watch the video. So what I'm going to do now, I know I'm going to do radical form. So go ahead. I'm going to get click new equation. And you see here where it says math operations. You're going to click on that and now you have a couple of options here and there are two options here one which is just a square root which you're going to use when the denominator is two however if you need to do another type of root like in this number one you know that since the denominator is five the root is going to be five right so i'm going to click on that one and what happens is you get to write in two places here See where the cursor is blinking now? I'm gonna go ahead and write a five there. And then I'm just gonna use the curse, I'm gonna use my arrow keys and go underneath the square root function, uh, the, the root function, and I'm just gonna go ahead and press X, shift six. Shift six will give you the exponents all the time. And then now I just do to the fourth power. And that is how you do number one. And that's how you do it in the Google Docs math print. Now, number nine, I know that the seventh root of x to the third is x to the three sevenths power. So how do I do that? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do x and I'm going to press shift six. And so now it's the exponent. Now the exponent's a fraction. So what I'm going to do is once again, go up here to where it says math operations, click down and then A over B will give you the fraction. And so you see you have a top and you have a bottom. The cursor automatically goes to the top. I'm gonna to go ahead and press three. And then I'm gonna go ahead 
and then press seven. And so now I have x to the three sevenths power, and that is how you do uh, fractions as exponents, okay? So if you need any help on this, please contact me. I'm here to help. Don't just try to do these on your own. Um, and don't copy, please. Okay?